welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how admin can add category from the admin panel so this is the route and if i go to the resources and then views and here you can see we have a folder admin and here you can see we have a file here test admin dot blade i'm going to actually delete it i'm uh, so this was for the you know example purpose right here you can see this is the admin dashboard so we have here example drop down uh, i'm going to actually make another drop down for the category let's say add category and for the view category so i will go to the code editor and we know it is inside main design and we uh, i mean inside admin folder and then main design and here we have uh, if i search here example example category right i mean drop down here you can see and what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually copy it so this is um, example drop down this is home so i'm going to copy here one more and the drop down will be category c a t e g o r category okay and we will use here two category but for now i'm going to actually work with only one single category and that is add category add c a t e g o r category and here we'll give a route so let's name the route as we have to actually use the syntax at first and let's name the route as i'm going to say admin so every single time if we want to do any work for the admin so that time we'll keep the route name as admin okay uh, admin dot and then the route name so this is for the add category i'm going to say add c t g or category let's say c a t e g o r y category okay admin dot add category i'm going to uh, go to the web dot php let's copy it and let's go to the web dot php and here i'm going to create a uh, route name and that is admin dot add category and here you can see we have a get route and we are going to give here add underscore c a t e g o r a category okay so this is the url and here it will go to the admin controller and it will target a function and that is add c a t e g o r y category you should uh, you know create function like this the first one is first letter will be kept small and then the middle one will be capital i mean the next name will be capital let's say we have here three names so we'll say here add category two so we'll use two t as capital okay that's it okay uh, so it will actually go to the add category let's go to the add category and we have to actually go for the app then http then controllers then admin controller and here we'll create a function the function name will be uh, add category right add category i'm going to copy it let's go there and let's change the name add category and here we'll actually return a view and that will be admin dot add c a t e g o r a category okay admin dot add category and now let's say i want to go to the admin views here you can see admin folder inside admin folder i'm going to create a new file and the file name will be add c a t e g o r a category dot blade dot php so you can see this is add category dot blade dot php and here we'll extend the main design so we'll say extends the main design the main design will be what uh, main so this is inside admin folder so i will say admin dot main design right main d e s i g n design dot blade dot php done and here i'll actually create a section at first because we will yield the section in the main design okay and here we are going to add section and the section name will be let's say add underscore c a t e g o r a category and we have to actually end the section end section and i want to yield this section here in the main design so we have a body part right if i go to the design here you can see we have a body part here so we'll go for the main section here you can see this is the main section right sidebar navigation end so this is the main section we have admin dashboard and here we will say that so these are for the home okay so we are going to actually cut all of them from here okay and we'll go to the dashboard and here we'll actually say a section and we'll paste everything here and we'll end the section 
end section and let's go at the top the section name will be dashboard dashboard and let's go and we'll say at yield uh, section name is dashboard right dashboard and now we are going to yield one more uh, section that is at category so we are going to add here yield add category that's it so inside add category we are going to actually show everything uh, related to add category so here i'm going to add a form so i'm going to actually uh, mention here a div maybe yes and then i'm going to actually create here a form so we'll use this class for this okay all right and here i'm going to use a form and some input field and a button uh, submit button okay input type would be submit button name is submit and value is add c a t e g o r y category and the form method will be post and action is a route action will be a route so we are going to give here a route but uh, let's design the uh, form at, at at first so here uh, we have input type and uh, i will use here text and then name will be category c a t e g o r y category c a t e g o r category okay all right and here we have add category button and everything now i want to actually go to the browser to check how it look like so let's go to the browser and refresh here you can see we have add uh, i mean category here drop down menu if i click on add category uh, it should go here right we have yield dashboard why bro let's go to the main design and here you can see we have uh, yield it so i made the mistake here it will be y i e l d okay so i'm going to copy it paste it here and now refresh it should work yes here you can see add categories so now we can actually add category so it will actually go somewhere else right so we have to give here a set, uh, route if i go to the add category here you can see add category and here i'm going to give here a route in the action so the route will be route r o u t route and the route name is we know admin dot for all the admin we will keep admin okay this is not necessary but i i love to actually work like this okay so admin dot then we will say post category post add c a t e g o r category i mean after uh, adding the category okay so add category i'm going to actually copy this route and it will go to the web.php and here inside this middleware admin middleware we are going to add one more route and uh, that this time it will be a post route so i'm going to actually copy it uh, let's say paste it here and this will be a post route because this is from the form right if i go here you can see this is from the form and the form method is uh, uh post here you can see post so you will go to the web.php and here we have post and here the url may be same no problem and then admin controller and then it will actually go for the add and let's change the name cut it from here and change the name so here you can see this is a post route we have changed here post and then url is same no problem because we will call through the name route name and then we'll go to the admin controller and we'll create a function for this so let's go to the admin controller and here we'll create a function for this we'll say function uh, sorry then the function name and this is the post route so we'll actually get the request here you can see we have import the request also right okay so we'll say request dollar the variable request let's say so you can actually uh, give here any any name right you can say here only r only rp any other name okay it's up to you and now we'll actually get the field value so first of all we'll get the field value we'll say request uh, i'll actually say here that uh, let's say dollar uh, i'll say c a t e g o r i category is equal to i'll say dollar request 
request request then the field name you know our field name is category right if i go to the here here you can see our field name is category so i can actually say here placeholder i will say placeholder enter category c a t e g r category name here okay so the field name is category right i'm going to copy it and i will go there and i will say request category so now from here we'll actually add it into the database but we haven't actually created the database right we we create the database sorry we create the data uh, we create the database but we haven't actually created the table right category table so what i have to do we have to actually create a table at first if i go to the database here you can see there is no such a table right here you can see there is no such a table name category so we are going to actually create a category table how to create this we can actually create through uh, i mean cmd command prompt and here we are going to create it so first of all we have to actually create a model at first to integrate the database right and then we'll create a migration file also to add all the column in the table with the table okay in the database okay so here i'm going to say php artisan make model at first okay and the model name would be category and here i will use hyphen m for the migration file also so it will create model at the same time and migration file also here you can see so now if i go to the database um, database here and then migration and here you can see we have a category table and we have here id and that should be auto incremented and here i'm going to add table 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 then category c a t e g r category okay uh, but it should be string and can can be null right null above and here we have to give the column name and that is c a t e g o r y category now let's go for the migration we have to migrate it in the database so we have to say here php artisan migrate press enter it will uh, done migration successfully now let's check here if i go to the models app then models and here you can see we have a category model right yeah so through category model we can actually uh, you know integrate the database okay now let's go to the database and if i refresh here you can see there is a category table here you can see category and we have id and category name okay done now let's go for the code editor and here in the admin controller we will actually import the model name and that is use mo app sorry backslash models backslash category we have the category model right here you can see if you go there we have category models right okay now we can ac access the category model here we will say a dollar c a t e g or a category is equal to new category so now uh, it will actually go for the table column and the column name is category also c a t e g o r y category if i go there you can see if i go here you can see the table column name is also category okay so from here we are actually adding the category right and we'll say dollar c a t e g o r y category save function that's it and we'll actually return from here now return redirect back and i will send with a message i will say with i'll say the message name uh, should have a name and the name will be let's say c a t e g o r i category message underscore message and here the message will be category added successfully so now uh, we have to actually access this in the at category dot blade dot php and here i'm going to actually say if condition and we know in blade syntax we have to write like this if uh, and i'm going to actually add here a session so i'm going to say session and the session name is what c a t e g o r category underscore m e double s a g message if category message will actually show something and uh, here i will uh, at first end the if so here i'm going to uh, paste a div because i have copied from somewhere else and here you can see this is a div uh, class okay and uh, we are actually checking this if there is any session or not 
if there is any session i mean if we get any message session message is create message if there is any session message like this we will actually show it here and this is green border okay round okay that's it now let's go and check if it is working perfectly if, if we refresh here it should uh, show here enter category name now let's say i will say test ctz let's say and if i press add category okay yeah it's a common issue mm, we forgot to actually mention here csrf i'm really sorry okay and then i will say test ctz add category still page expired why okay another mistake <laughs> Full of mistakes okay so uh we have to actually give it inside form right yeah so now uh if i want to add category it should add it uh, but let's refresh it once again and then i will say test ctg add category and it should show here create added okay, sorry category added successfully right that's it guys uh now uh from here let's check added successfully or not yes added successfully i'm going to uh, go there and remove everything from here okay so admin can actually add category right from the admin table so that's it i hope you understand thank you so much for watching